4, week number 1, lesson number 3. At ang lesson number 3 natin ay Relationships among the sides and opposite angles of a triangle. So at the end of the session, you will be able to describe the relationships among the sides and opposite angles of a triangle. First thing is we need to be familiarized with these words increasing decreasing as well as greater than less than So in our triangle SAM Angle S has the opposite side of side as uh, side AM. So we have side AM is the opposite side of angle S. So angle A has an opposite side of side SM. So we can say that side SM is the opposite side of angle A. Angle M is the opposite angle of side SA. So we can say that side SA is the opposite side of angle M. So in reverse, angle S is the opposite angle of side AM. Angle A is the opposite angle of side SM. Angle M is the opposite angle of side SA. The side opposite the largest angle of a triangle is the longest side of the triangle. The side opposite the smallest angle of a triangle is the shortest side of the triangle. Example, we have triangle SAM with the following angle measures. Angle S measures 78 degrees. Angle A measures 54 degrees. And angle M measures 48 degrees. We need to name the longest and the shortest sides of triangle SAM. The side opposite the largest angle of a triangle is the longest side of the triangle. So, the largest angle in this triangle having 78 degrees is the angle S. So, it means the opposite side to this angle is the longest, which is side AM. To find the shortest side, we have to look for the smallest angle. So remember, the side opposite the smallest angle of a triangle is the shortest side of the triangle. So dito, we have 48 degrees as the smallest angle, which is angle M. So the opposite side to this angle is the shortest side, which is side as A. For example, number 2, in triangle PRO, the measure of angle P is equal to 60 and the measure of angle R is equal to 55. Let's arrange the sides from longest to shortest. So, ito ang ating figure. As you could see, angle O is unknown. So, let's recall the theorem that sum of the measures of the interior angles of a triangle. So, if we will be adding all the measures of the interior angles of the triangle, the total must be 180 degrees. So, the measure of angle P plus the measure of angle R 
plus the measure of angle O must be equal to 180 degrees. Since we already have 60 and 55 here, we have to get the total and then subtract it from 180 degrees. Therefore, the measure of angle O is 65. We can now arrange the sides from longest to shortest. Tandaan, the side opposite the largest angle is the long, uh, of the triangle is the longest side of the triangle. The largest the angle, the longest the side. So, dito sa ating triangle, the angle having the largest measures is angle O, which means that the opposite side of this angle is the longest side. So, the longest side is side PR. And for the shortest side, we make sure that we need to look for the smallest angle of the triangle. The smallest the angle, the shortest the side. So, dito sa triangle na to, the smallest angle here is angle R with 55 degrees. Meaning, the opposite side of this angle is side PO, which is the shortest side. Now, we can now arrange the sides according to the longest until the shortest. So, the longest to shortest arrangement, meron tayong side PR, followed by side RO, followed by side PO. For the next example, Find the measure of angle F and the measure of angle R. So, for us to find the measure of the two angles, we need to solve first the variable X. And we need to apply the theorem, the sum of the measures of the interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. So, the measure of angle F, plus the measure of angle E, plus the measure of angle R is equal to 180 degrees. So, we need to substitute. X plus 20 plus 80 plus X plus 10 is equal to 180. Then, simplify. We have 2X is equal to 180 minus 20 minus 80 minus 10. That will give you 2X is equal to 70. And by division property, we divide both sides by 2, and we got the variable x, which is 35. With this, we can now find the measure of angle F and angle R. So, we need to substitute it to the given expression. Let's start with the, uh, with the angle F. So, the measure of angle F is represented by x plus 20. So, i-substitute lang natin yung nakuha nating value ng x. So, 35 plus 20 is equal to 55. So, the measure of angle F is 55. And for the measure of angle R, it is represented by the expression x plus 10. So, gaya na ginawa natin sa angle F, we need to substitute the given or the obtained value of x. So, 35 plus 10 is equal to 45, so meaning the measure of angle R is equal to 45. So, as you can see, if we add all together, their sum is 180 degrees. Now, we can name the longest and the shortest sides of triangle FER. So, remember again, the side opposite the largest angle of a triangle is the longest side of the triangle. So, the largest angle here is angle E, meaning the longest side is the side FR. For the smallest angle, the, the opposite side of this will be the shortest side. So, ang smallest angle natin rito is angle R. The opposite side of this angle is side FE. 
So, this side is the shortest. The angle opposite the shortest side of the triangle is the smallest angle of the triangle. So, ito lang ay converse ng naunang mga statements. Ganun kapag ang angle opposite the longest side of a triangle is the largest angle of the triangle. So, example, in triangle SAM, ang SA natin is 12. AM is 16 and SM is 9. So, determine the largest and the smallest angle. So remember po, the angle opposite the longest side of a triangle is the largest angle of the triangle. So, dito, ang longest side natin is side AM, which means the largest angle opposite to this is angle S. And for the shortest side, the shortest side in this triangle is side as M. So, meaning, ang kanyang opposite angle will be the smallest angle. That is angle A. And that's the end of the discussion for today. I hope you learned something new. And before I end up, with our discussion, let me end this with this motivational uh, words coming from Kara Sensei. So, nothing comes from nothing, boy and girls. If you want answers, work for them. Show me what you've learned. Have a nice day.